are gearing up for a party here in Los Angeles for Sunday night's Golden Globes here on NBC. The stars will be out in force, but who will win the coveted awards? Here with his predictions, Dave Carger, host of Front Runners on Fandango. Dave, are you ready to go out on a limb? I am. Egg right. on my face maybe on Monday, but let's go for it. <laughs> okay, well, we won't remind you. Oh, wait, yeah, yes, right. we will. <laughs> Best drama. What do you think the contenders are here? This is a two-way race between 12 Years a Slave, which got the most nominations of all the films in this category, and also Gravity. I think 12 Years a Slave, because it has that big sprawling cast, I would give that the edge, but I'm also hearing that some of the Hollywood Foreign Press, which votes on the Golden Globes, don't love the movie so much. And when there's only 85 people, a couple votes can swing it one way or the other. So my pick is 12 Years a Slave, but I wouldn't be surprised if Gravity takes it. What about Best Actor in a Drama? I think that's going to be Chiwetel Ejiofor, the star of 12 Years a Slave. Not many people knew him or knew how to pronounce his name, but I think they will. They do now. And this will position him as a front runner for the Oscar. But also, you can't count out Matthew McConaughey for Dallas Buyers Club and even Tom Hanks for Captain Phillips. Best Actress, you have a surprise pick here. I was surprised at what Kate your Blanchett pick was. for yeah. Blue Jasmine. Which, by the way, she was incredible. So great. I think she's going to dominate the whole award season. I think she'll win this weekend at the Globes. I think she'll win the Oscar. She hasn't really been around campaigning because she's been in Australia working, but I think she's going to make a big appearance this weekend at the Globes, and that's just going to set her on pace to win everything. So the Globes are a little odd. They have the best drama category, then they have the best comedy category, which the movies are kind of comedies yeah. in this category? In the past, actual comedies have been nominated <laughs> for best comedy, like The Hangover, which won best comedy a couple years ago. This year, it's five kind of like in the middle ground right. movies and the foremost one is American Hustle that got tons of nominations the whole cast was nominated it's really coming on strong in the award season right now so I think it's gonna win and who do you think takes the acting awards in the comedy section well I think for best actor in a comedy you've got Leonardo DiCaprio for Wolf of Wall Street and Christian Bale for American Hustle they're the two frontrunners my vote is Leo although Bruce Dern in Nebraska is a good contender too and for best actress I think it's Meryl Streep it, for August Osage County. It would be her ninth Golden Globe. If there's an upset, it's Amy Adams for American Hustle. And what's great is that they're friends, Meryl and Amy, they made Doubt together, and Julie and Julia. So whichever one wins, I think they'll acknowledge the other one, which will be a great moment. And how wonderful for Amy Adams to share it with Meryl Streep. I mean, That'd that's incredible. Real quick, preview to Tina and Amy. They, I, some say they're the real stars of the night. They killed last year. I was in the room. I'm hearing their opening is very spectacular this year and that they've been working on it for weeks. So I cannot wait to see who they make fun of. Just, I remember all the great jokes that they had at the expense of like James Cameron last year. They can get away with stuff that nobody else can get away with. There's just something about their little Cheshire cat grins that's so much fun to watch. Yeah, they're sharp, wait. but they're not unkind. They really got the tone just right. Perfect hosts. Well, I've written down all your predictions, Dave. See you back here Monday. Okay. We'll see how you do. Thanks. And you can catch all of the excitement right here on NBC, starting with our Golden Globes arrival special, 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. And Al Carson and I are going to be here bright and early in L.A. Monday morning. We'll give you a complete wrap of the evening.